Hello! And welcome to a little bit of fly time with Fraggle. And let's just get on with this. Give her some flaps. Give her some throttle. This is the, uh... What is this? This is not the Albeo. Whoops! Oh, God. So I figured I would have a quick play with my uh, my Vive and uh, an app called uh, Fly Inside, which is a uh, a hook for uh, for the Vive, which allows you to utilize it in Prepared 3D. It's it's not a bad little application. Um, I'm running the demo, so I've got 15 minutes before it cuts me off. Um, it, it, it's got some issues. Like most most things done by indiv independent developers, it's, it's definitely got some issues, but... Uh, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, this is a little Cessna. I can't remember what, which one it is now. But it's really nicely modelled. I'll, uh, I'll tell you what it is in the description, I guess. Um, <laughs> make sure our flaps are up. Ease back on the throttle a little bit. Uh, eh, I'll do for the minute. So we're just going to do a very, very quick run between uh, London City and uh, Heathrow because that's one of my one of my favorite little test trips and uh, it's really nice for testing frame rates uh, right now I just have uh, my graphics turned up um, as you can see I got the buildings turned up I don't have um, active sky next running I do have um, Orbix global installed you might be able to tell not sure. Um, I don't have any traffic running. I don't think I have any traffic running. No, I don't. I don't have any traffic running. So, and uh, the the frame rate is actually pretty dang stable. I'm getting a little bit of flickering in the headset. I don't think that's going to translate into the. Uh, I'm going to go over this way a little bit. I don't think that's going to translate into the recording at all, but I'm getting a little bit of black flickering in the headset. I think that's because of the drivers that uh, that the people that fly inside are using. But uh, this, this is really nice, I've got to say. I've been a, an armchair flyer for like 20 years. <laughs> oh God, has it been that long? It has. It's been longer, actually. Oh my god, I'm old. Um, but this is totally different. Um, when I first got hold of this, and I... Uh, oh, I should probably trim this thing up, huh? When I first got hold of the Vive, uh, the first thing I wanted to do was try uh, Prepared. And of course, you know, it, it didn't like immediately hook why do we not have the shard yet we don't do we I'll let me lean out the window here uh, ah. wait no would it be here yeah. no we'll, we'll be behind me wouldn't it oh no it should be right where I'm at actually huh there you go scenery people Add in the shard. Um, I completely derailed my train of thought. Oh yeah. Um, the, so the first thing I did actually was um, was in the previous update to this one. This is what is this? Three three. In three two, I loaded up uh, the Vive and I loaded up uh, Fly Inside, and I just went with the very the basic startup. The what is that? An F twenty two or something? And uh, I, I've got to say, when I did the first bank, I come up at the airport, took off, flew up a little bit, 
and then did a right hand bank I nearly fell off my chair <laughs> uh, the discrepancy between what my eyes were seeing and what my ears were telling me uh, yeah I, I almost nearly fell off my damn chair it was very impressive and it's still very impressive I mean it the Fresnel lenses are a little bit annoying um, <clears throat> but other than that it's really pretty cool I've got to say um, the distance rendering is a little low because of the resolution but I can deal with that with the ability to to actually look around and uh, with fly inside you can ah, heck you're supposed to be able to bind a button to the mouse so you can literally look at things yeah I want to control oops I want to control this and I want to control that um, it's very very impressive and to be able to just look around some of these beautiful cockpits as well is also I mean look at that look at that detail look at that scratch right there sorry um, it's actually very very impressive and I really like it and the, you know, the ability to, to look up and over and you know, check out what's going on over here and, and then just sit back and relax again and it's yeah I could really get used to this the only problem is you can't see your hands if they could figure out a way of using the Vive controllers in the simulator so I could use the controllers to just grab hold of the yoke and you know do my maneuvers with the with the Vive controllers that would be that would be pretty awesome that way I could leave one hand on the yoke and the other hand can move around the cockpit and whoops and touch the buttons and play with the knobs and so on Well, there's a uh, Heathrow right there. What am I at? 1100? Yeah. I gotta say though, uh, I've had a lot of fun with the Vive. I've been playing a lot of the, uh, the, the tech demos, the, the free stuff that you can get, uh, like uh, the lab is one of them. That, that's a lot of fun. Um, I can't get the robot workshop thing to run though. Every time I try and start that, it crashes. Um, but this is totally worth it. Now, if I could get Euro Truck Simulator working properly with this, or well, yeah, I quit playing Farm Simulator. I kind of got bored of that. So, there's the runway there. Uh, we should almost be kind of sort of lined up on it. Nope, we're a little to the right. The problem here is I'm having a hard time seeing, actually seeing the runway because of the resolution on the goggles. But if I had the ILS all set up, that wouldn't be an issue. I'm still gaining altitude, even though my... Th oh, it's because I have my throttle up. Brr. All right, so we'll take the throttle down. We'll deploy some flaps. Position wind. Position two. No need to go crazy. Monkey dokey. Alright, now I'm starting to see some detail on the airport, so I definitely need to go further to the right. See, this is one of the really cool things, is I can look at the airport, and then if I want to look at the dials, you know, the controls or anything like that, I can just glance down, yep, and glance back.
And the other really cool thing is when I was flying in the armchair, I actually always had a really hard time lining up on the runway visually because I could never figure out where the center was, you know? This might make helicopter flying a lot more interesting. <laughs> But, uh, but this is, is actually really very, very cool. I can almost forgive this flickering. If they do something about the flickering, I'll actually buy this uh, Fly Inside software. Uh, a quick footnote to it though, uh, it doesn't have the Vive controller support, but it does have support for the Leap controller. Not that that helps with the Vive, because you can't stick it on the front of the Vive. The Vive has sensors mounted on the headpiece to tell, you know, for the head tracking, so you can't stick a Leap on the front of the Vive. It's a little bit of a bit of a bummer, but not a big deal. Why am I carrying so much damn speed? Oh well, it's gonna be a hot landing. <laughs> yeah, the one thing is uh, with the with the vibe is I, I have a hard time figuring out where my throttle is because I got my hand, my left hand on my HOTUS and usually I kind of glance at it so cut the throttle entirely nose are up a little bit, right? right whoops Whoops. Float over the runway. And we're down. Well, that wasn't too bad. Carrying a lot of speed onto the runway, though, that was actually. But, uh. That's a little demo with that, with the old Vive here. This is, this is actually not bad. If I get the traffic working and get, uh. Active Sky Next running, this is going to be a lot of fun. I wonder what uh, some of the other aircraft are going to do to my frame rate when I have those other virtual cockpits running. Because <laughs> I know some of those are pretty, pretty uh, strenuous on the old gear there, you know, when you, uh, when you look down and you have all the uh, dials on display, I can imagine that uh, But uh, it's going to cause a lot of... Uh, is stuttering the word? I don't know. Stuttering might be the right word there. I really have to work on my taxiing skills though. But... Uh, yeah, that's... That's pretty much... up. Oh, there you go. Look, trial time. Boom. 15 minutes, people. That's really not bad. Let's have a quick look at the menu. Alright, so you get this little blue button here. Oh, this little blue dot that shows you where you're looking. But uh, it doesn't in interact with anything on the screen. Just the menu. Way to go. There it is. Bing! Alrighty, so you've got a couple of different options over here. I go to airport, uh, select aircraft, blah 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 blah. Uh, this side is the best side though. Uh, settings. Can, obviously you can adjust your different settings um, I always keep it on that one uh, yep that one I have on uh, low speed high stability quite sure what that is about though uh, display FPS unlimited anti-aising medium I might actually try that on high on my next one Sound, blah 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 blah. 
And then if we go down here, we've got, um, what is this? Oh yeah, if you find that you're, um, when you're running this, that you're getting a lot of stuttering, a lot of problems, if you switch this to show it to, uh, wait, that's not the option I'm thinking of. There was an option to turn this so it's not rendering both eyes, but just one, so you're not getting that stereoscopic effect. Uh, let's see what else we got. Rearrange windows, similar, blah, 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 blah. night mode, nobody cares. Uh, head tracking, yep. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, and then once you're in here, you can click exit, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, I guess I will see you guys, uh, I'll, I'll see you guys anon.